Weaky leaky, y'all. Looks like Weaky Leaks may have a massive scandal on its hand. So there's a group called Guerrilla Skepticism. And according to the Good Trouble show with Matt Ford and their guest, Rob Hetherly, I believe that's how you say it. Um, they are purporting that uh, there's a group called Guerrilla Skepticism that um, it is proven that they, they openly admit to editing Wikipedia pages. But what's being alleged is that they're mischievous and dubious about it because what they focus on are UFO pages and quote unquote pseudoscience and furthering the skeptic movement or content or I don't even understand that. So anyway, and Luis Elizondo has put out uh, quite a statement in response to this because his page has also been affected amongst many other people, David Grush, Luis Elizondo, uh, the list goes on. Now, it's also being reported that potentially uh, there's a main player named Lucky Louie. Uh, that's the screen name. And people are saying it's Mick West. Um, he has denied it. Um, so I'm going to share. Um, he actually put on his Twitter um, basically all the pages of Wikipedia that he's ever edited. So again, I'm going to put links to it. Just being fair, reporting on everything. Um, and yeah, look, look, let's, let's dive into this because it's kind of nuts y'all. Anyway, that's what I'm dubbing it. The wiki leaky, uh, the new wiki leaks. They're calling it the Wikipedia secret cabal. Again, the Facebook group is literally called secret cabal of these guerrilla skeptics. And it's a private Facebook group. I couldn't find it. There's no link. You must have to be like invited specifically. And they're going to talk more about that. And this clip that I have, which is quite interesting. So, look, props to uh, the Good Trouble Show, Matt Ford, for reporting on this. And Rob Hetherly, I believe is his name. Which, by the way, Rob has commented on a few videos uh, here on Vetted. So, um, if you'll notice, a lot of people uh, from the UFO community come in and comment um, on some of these videos. So, I guess Vetted is uh, uh, making its name known. Anyway, um, and that is due to y'all. You know, it brings me to my next point. So thank you all so much for the support. Uh, the growth has been just skyrocketing. So thank you all so much. If you're new to the channel and you like content like this, hit that subscribe button, y'all. We put out a new video every day, 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. I don't miss a day. And of course, please hit that like button, y'all. That helps out the videos more than I could explain to you. So thank you all for all the support. Y'all really do a good job with that. And of course, comment down below of what you think of this bonkers sort of scandal. Is this true? Um, I have a lot of comments on this because Wikipedia has had some issues to begin with, right? It is open to be manipulated. So we're going to dive into some of my thoughts on that. Um, and yeah, just curious to see what y'all think about all this. It's kind of crazy. Um, if this is true to this extent, um, because talk about spreading misinformation. I mean, this is crazy and manipulating the narrative, right? Um, so anyway, let's dive in, y'all. Let's go to the first clip here from uh, Matt Ford and the Good Trouble Show. Just kind of introduce what's happening. All right, so let's start there. Field having interviewed some of the most important figures on the topic, his latest research uncovered an extensive, highly organized network of debunker Wikipedia editors who are dedicated to rewriting Wikipedia pages related to anything debunkers consider pseudoscience, and that includes UFOs. The Wikipedia pages of whistleblowers, academics, scientists, and journalists have been targets of this group, the guerrilla skeptics. Because these are private groups or secret groups, you can't join them. I have to allow you, and I have admins that will allow you to join the group, but we check you out because we don't want to allow, you know, somebody in who's, you know, infiltration oh my gosh yeah so that's where we spend a lot of our time but we've worked on pages on um, ufos and spontaneous human combustion and all kinds of different uh, topics that are pseudoscience or, or misinformation uh, wikipedia is the single most important tool in the skeptical toolbox that we have but we keep track of all the wikipedia pages that we have made a massive um a, a rewrite to or have written and we are now at 1,230 pages, and we keep track of how many pages, how many page views those 1,230 pages have, and we're at 51 million page views, over 51 million page views. Homeopathy, we've changed that page drastically. The lead, the very, very first couple sentences of the page, which most people is the only thing they read, we've used the word quackery. I mean, that's so awesome.
I am so proud of these people. And the other 100, I have 113 people. And I'm always looking to recruit and require more. How in the world do people still support this woman? It, we even have um, on here her conviction, her um, legal conviction. Here, if you click on... For a gold investment scheme. Yeah, we have it so you can actually go and see where she's a convicted felon. So when people say she's a convicted felon, we're like, go to Wikipedia. There it is. In the last week, those 500 pages have created, in the last week, 215,742 page views. In the last month, 1,563,493 page views. And in the whole time that these page views have existed, these pages we've written, the GSOW project has written um, those 500 pages, and those page views are now at 19,063,934 page views. So if you want to be part of the solution, Wow, <laughs> that's all I can say. Look, I gotta agree, wow. Um, I, I got some more clips, but hang on here. So l let me just sort of like break it down. First of all, what was that w woman with the hat thing like? Uh, look, I'm all about, I wear hats, I wear, you know, um, I like hats. That was just odd, I don't know, <laughs> whatever. Uh, she looked like a villain out of like some like kids movie, right? <laughs> like the the evil ant or something um it, you know don't dis no disrespect but that is troubling honestly to hear that look wh who this is the problem y'all this is the problem with human beings as such as we are is that there's a site it's open source wikipedia we all know it right it's the online encyclopedia now the idea that we sort of monitor it and make sure that the information is correct on its surface sounds great, right? Great. It's like police in your neighborhood, right? You clearly want police in your neighborhood. You don't want no police, but what happens? The police can abuse their power, push it too far, right? This, that it becomes difficult when we have to police ourselves, right? And that's the issue that's that, that I can see coming from this is again anyone first of all who starts a skeptic group it just sounds odd but I, I would say the same thing for a believer group right because skepticism is important i mean it's how we evolved right we wouldn't be here if we weren't skeptical on a primary you know on a primate level right primary level, like instinctual level we need to be skeptical animals are skeptical why for safety reasons Right, it's clearly just innate in us, and there's nothing wrong with that to question things, kind of be weary. Otherwise, you'll just believe anything gullible. I mean, you're screwed. So it's a balance, right, of skepticism, but you can't be skeptical to the point where you never accept anything new, right? That's also crazy. Um, but believing everything as well is also dangerous, right? So it's finding that balance. Um, but this idea that there would be this group and private group that can go in. I don't see how Wikipedia allows that. I don't think that should be allowed, if I'm being honest. I think it should be open source and you just need to be an individual. But grouping up to come in to do this is not a good idea. Now, I got to be, just to be fair here, devil's advocate to see it from the other side, like maybe from their perspective, it's like we're taking care of misinformation. But again, who decides misinformation? You're the gatekeeper now, you 103 people. And how do we know what vetting process you use to allow people in there that then can go in and edit all this stuff for us? I don't like it. I don't like it. It's very shady to me and I don't like it. And I'm not, has nothing to do with UFOs for me. It's just the fact that there's a group of people who can have such an influence on Wikipedia. I don't care what that influence is. I don't, that, that, that's shady and should not happen. There shouldn't be a big group of UFO believers who influence the Wikipedia either, right? I think Wikipedia should only allow individual editors to go in because then you can keep them accountable. How do we keep this large group accountable? We don't because the same features that are in place on Wikipedia aren't in place on that, on that group, right? And so they're manipulating uh, working together to manipulate the system of Wikipedia to make changes. And who's verifying their changes, right? Why are they the gold standard for what's true and what's not true? 
And why do they get to call stuff quackery? Because that's their opinion of it? That just goes to beyond science and being skeptical. You're calling it quackery. Now you're name calling. Now you're adding, right now it's agenda driven, which is honestly a quote from Luis Elizondo's statement that I'm about to read here in a minute. All right. So, yeah, this is so troubling to me. I don't like it at all. And I like Wikipedia, but that's very troubling. I don't know if the owner of Wikipedia, if he heard about this, would like this. It's like, I wonder if Wikipedia knows. And I'm sure there's other groups like this, right, that take a topic and go in at Wikipedia. I mean, dude, that is not good, y'all. I'm telling that is just not good. I don't see, I mean, they're removing things like doctor, the DR and PhD from people because they don't want it to make it seem like that UFO, you know, reference or whatever is, is legit. So they remove, you know, I mean, come on, that's like, that's screwed up, right? If that's true, that is screwed up. And this, this guy, Rob Hertherly, again, I've got all the links in the description, go check it out, dive deep into this. It's a long investigation, right, if you want to dive deep um, into it. But that guy brings all the receipts, man. And he's been working on this for a long time, y'all, for months. Because I went through his tweets, and he's been posting about this for months that this has been happening. And, yeah, so, hey, props to them, man. They brought the receipts. They're showing the stuff. It's it is just dubious to me. Again, nothing wrong with being skeptical, but the idea you're going to then form a group and then go out with this agenda to, again, make sure people think the way you think and make sure they perceive things the way you want them to perceive them. One thing is to provide all the information, right? If the Wikipedia said some say it's quackery, some say it's this, that's fair but they don't. They put it as if it's a fact. And since when is quackery some like scientific term, right? Like this is crazy. This is quackery. Um, Look, let's go to this next clip and let's see Luis Elizondo's statement um, to all of this. Oh, hang on here. Might help if I show you all the clip. Uh, find uh, the right button. So here's a statement from Lou Elizondo, quote, this is more than just an attempt to dispar. Hang on, y'all, let me move this so we can read it. There we go. A few of Lou Elizondo, quote, this is more than just an attempt to disparage a few of us working towards disclosure. In fact, it's an assault on the very freedoms of every American who looks to reliable sources for information. No, he said every person, not every American, because it goes beyond America, y'all. Wikipedia is used across the world. When the outlets designed to inform and clarify information become corrupted by a few reckless agenda-driven zealots, it becomes downright dangerous for all of our freedoms and casts doubt on all forms of media and freedom of the press. We must do a better job at policing ourselves of these types of characters. Remember, there is no greater evil than that which wears the mask of virtue. So, look, I mean, that last line, it sounds cool, but, I mean, you could say that about Luis Elizondo. I mean, everyone virtue signals, like, so, you know, whatever. But do a better job at policing ourselves. I mean, that's the problem, right? Right. Humans are flawed, and we're asking other flawed humans to, right? It's like our government, right? It's just made up of people that make mistakes, and they run it, right? Like, it's this crazy, um, it's like, it's just imperfect. Everything's imperfect, and we just have to accept the imperfections that come with it, right? And Wikipedia is no different in that sense. But, look, I don't always agree with Luis Elizondo and everything, but I 100% agree with the statement, man. Like, absolutely. Again, I don't care who's got a group going into Wikipedia. I don't care what their agenda is. I don't like that. Again, this is just my opinion. But I don't think that's that's how Wikipedia should be run. It should just be independent. 
people can go in, not these groups that get created. You know, I mean, this is just crazy. That is definitely, uh, you know, an effort to manipulate the information, man. I mean, I, I don't know any other way to put it. And again, they're all about getting the right information out by manipulating the information. I mean, it totally is ass backwards, right? It, it, it honestly doesn't make any sense. So this is the lucky Louie part. I'm going to play a little bit so you get to hear from Rob and everything and, and what he's done. Again, fantastic job for putting this together. Just regardless if you think it's true or not, just respect for putting this kind of work and investigation um, together and actually doing, you know, work, boots on the ground, like work and digging in. Again, whether you believe it or not, it's a different story. But yeah, I mean, we want to get closer. People need to do things like this. So Lucky Louie, who is probably, I would say, the most prolific uh, Wikipedia editor that you've discovered, uh, Rob. Uh, these are his top edits. Uh, now he's also into amateur radio, which I was kind of surprised. Ghost hunting. Uh, let's see, uh, more audio stuff. Pentagon UFO videos. He's very active on that. Uh, let's see, uh, what else? Shadow person. I mean, honestly, like, <laughs> I'm just thinking about this. Like, it's so dangerous to leave the information we receive is we think is truth up to just individuals who think they know what should go. And granted, there is a system to like, people can approve edits, not at, you know, but again, that can just all be manipulated. And oh my God, I mean, we just literally have to take everything with a grain of salt everywhere about everything. And, and you know, this is the, like the century of disinformation and misinformation, man. Like the internet has just, the internet gave us everything. Like the good, th this is the good news about the internet. The good news and the bad news about the internet. The good news is it gave us everything. The bad news is it gave us everything. Right? It's like, uh, the good news is you have access to any information you want in the world. The bad news is you have access to any information you want in the world. Ay, ay, ay. I mean, I'm, God, I just, I, I, I'm so one-sided on this. Like, I, I don't see how, right? I mean, we have no idea who these people are and they're going to change this stuff and then we just accept it, you know? Maybe there should be elected UFO editors or something, or not UFO editors, but Wikipedia editors or something. I don't know. We, we need a new plan because this, this is not working. You know, if more stuff like this comes out, it's just going to put no credibility to Wikipedia, right? So... It, so again, he's talking about Wicca, he's talking about Lucky Louie. Infield poster guy, poltergeist. Um, and again, they're accusing Mick West of being Lucky Louie. I actually don't think that's true at all. Um, yeah, I just don't think that's true. Radio personality, Bigfoot, uh, unidentified flying object, Bob Lazar's page, writes on that, Travis Walton incident, uh, Ouija, uh, David Grush, UFO whistleblower, cl uh, claims we're going to get into his page and what they've done to damage that. Um, yeah, man, they kind of got rid of David Grush's. He there was two, you know, they, there was a couple pages basically, one for just David Grush, and then one for like his claims and you know whistleblower stuff, and they just combined it and like kind of messed with it, right? Again, make it seem crazy. Yeah, I don't like that stuff, man. I just put the put the you know, put the information and we'll decide. Every person can decide from themselves because perception is reality. So everyone's just going to decide from themselves what they think about it. But trying to force it down their throat is crazy. I mean, yeah. So anyway, again, I'm gonna put links to all this. Y'all can check it out. See what's going on. I did a little search and I found this on internet from uh, Wired and it's from 2018. And it's quite telling. So this is the group. Um, you can't see the whole thing, but I did that for the article. But it says, the guerrilla Wikipedia editors who combat conspiracy theories. Susan Gerbic's team, so she's the one that leads this, of over 100 editors are responsible for some of Wikipedia's most traffic pages about UFOs and other pseudoscience. See, to them, they think they're doing a good thing. They're on a mission for the truth. Right? And uh, that's the problem. So, and right here, right, guerrilla skepticism on Wikipedia was started to improve skeptical content. I mean, what does that even mean? What's skeptical content? I mean, that's like the craziest thing I've ever seen. That's like saying improve believer content. Like, what does that even mean? 
on the crowdsourced encyclopedia. Crowdsourced sounds like it's group sourced by different groups, right? Like, and look, they just talk about some kind of some crazy stuff here, right? As a member of the skeptical movement, again, what does that even mean, y'all? I would say the same thing for a believer movement. Like, I don't know what that means either, you know? It's like, I don't know about y'all, man, but in some moments, I'm a little skeptical. In some moments, I'm a little more believing what's going on, right? And I'm kind of, it's a balance. It's kind of all over the place, right? It's like to say I'm one thing or another, I mean, it just doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense to me, but whatever, people do what they want. Gerbic is committed to promoting critical thinking, scientific inquiry, and empirical evidence, particularly when it comes to fringe ideas. In 2010, does, does she not realize that all of science, as like every scientific discovery, started off as a fringe idea? You know what I mean? Scientists working on an absolute major breakthrough are told they're crazy and it's a fringe idea until it then becomes, oh, fact. Doesn't make any sense. Horrible way to write that. 2010, she started a Wikipedia project to improve skeptical content. So they've been doing that for almost 15 years? By writing new articles about topics like people who claim to have supernatural abilities and improving existing ones about groups like those who believe the earth is flat and improving. See, they think they're improving. Again, the earth is flat. Again, it... it you just need to put the information of what something is. We don't need the opinion of it, right? It's like a dictionary. You just open it up and you see what the definition of a word is. It doesn't change based on, you know, what someone wants to give it. Does that make sense? Like, that's the problem with this. It should be more like a dictionary. It just, it is what it is. So I don't like this. Today, the guerrilla skepticism on Wikipedia projects, as it was called, has more than 120 volunteer editors from around the world, each of whom Gerbic has recruited and trained herself. Because again, how, how is she recruiting? What kind of training is going involved? We don't know. And then it goes to this crowdsourced Wikipedia, and then they can approve each other's edits. Do you see what I'm saying? That's the problem with it. They can bypass Wikipedia's system to help make sure it stays balanced by coming in with these big group of volunteer editors. I don't like that. I, I wouldn't like it either way. If there was some pro UFO group that was going in and manipulating things, I wouldn't like that either. Maybe adding doctor or PhD to people who aren't, right? Like the opposite of what the other stuff, I mean, again, granted, look at it that way. It'd be horrible. So if there's a skeptic watching this going, what's the problem, Patrick? That's the problem. Imagine it the other way a UFO group going in and changing things to, to, you would be upset about that. You would be screaming about it, in fact. So you should scream about it this way too. It, it's both, right? We just want balance and truth. We don't want agenda driven from either side. I hate that there's sides anyway, but you know what I mean? They're collectively responsible for some of the site's most heavily trafficked articles on topics like Scientology, UFOs, and vaccines. Like, how is that even possible? Wikipedia, again, is supposed to be this open platform, open source, and they're responsible for some of the site's most heavily trafficked articles? Like, they're the only ones that run? Again, not good. Look at this. Over the past several years, companies like YouTube, Google, and Facebook have turned to Wikipedia to help fight, fight the spread of misinformation and conspiracy theories on their platform. Again, the idea behind it sounds like utopia, but the idea is you just can't control that stuff and it, you make it worse. Freedom of speech. The way you beat bad speech or what you consider evil speech is with some good speech, right? Like, yeah. While the crowdsource encyclopedia isn't totally immune from being manipulated, it's proven to be a largely reliable source for accurate information. How do we know? Who's, who's checking that? Is there a group to check the secret cabal group? No. And I wonder how they would feel if they were fact-checked. If somebody was always on them 24-7 to make sure their shit's right. Often debunks 
They often debunk the same harmful conspiracy theories tech platforms struggle to combat, meaning it stands to play an important role in that battle. Look at this. Editors for guerrilla skeptics of Wikipedia editors have collectively created or completed completely rewritten more than 630 Wikipedia pages, which together have garnered over 28 million page visits. I mean, they're they're saying that like they're bragging. They've worked in multiple languages in addition to English, including Spanish, French, and Arabic. There's no question that group of people is made up of people speaking different languages, and they're trying to affect it all. I mean, this is so crazy. A private group on Facebook called The Secret Cabal functions as a sort of headquarters where members discuss edits and decide which articles to tackle next. Oh, Jesus Christ. Their subjects provide a window into the various ways people end up on Wikipedia and how they find information on the internet more generally. All right, you know what? Okay, so here's McWest's response. Again, I'll put links to everything. Y'all can check it out. Y'all can read the rest of that article. And and look, McWest puts something, I mean, you know, take it how it is. He puts some links right here. He puts he says, here are all the article edits I've made to Wikipedia in the last 12 months. So Again, Wick Mess is denying he's Lucky Louie. I don't think that's true. I don't think Mick West, Mick West is a part of this secret cabal group. In fact, people were claiming he's the leader of this thing. Um, now, granted, I don't know if he's part of the group. He could be. I don't know if he's been asked that directly. I think he's just saying I'm not the leader of it, but I don't know. Maybe someone's just asked if you're in the group. Um, I'd be curious to hear his opinion on it. Again, I like Mick West, y'all. I know some of y'all hate him and... The idea that someone would hate me because I like Midwest is also odd to me. Like, I don't care who y'all like. Why should it bother you who I like? I like everybody. Because I separate UFOs from the person. Their opinion on UFOs is not reflective of who that person is. Just like I don't judge someone on who they vote for. It's just not what I do. So I don't judge someone based on their opinions on UFOs, y'all. That's silly to me. I don't care how much you're into it. Uh, to me, that's silly. You do what you want. But to me, that's silly. I like keeping everybody kind of... It, to me, it's just about who the person is. Are they nice and respectful? That's who I want to deal with because I don't care either way. But anyway, again, I don't know. But what do I think about this secret cabal Facebook group and the Wikipedia changing? I hate it. I don't like it. I think that's crap. And I think everyone should be mad about this. I think Mick West should be mad about this. I think, and I agree uh, on his tweets, he kind of downplayed it, and I disagree with that. I think he should be taking this way more seriously, to be honest with you. Because again, from if I was him, I would say, look at it from the other side. What if this was a, a UFO group doing this? You would be livid, right? So same goes for this. I'm just saying, we gotta be fair, y'all out there. And if it's a, like, like Lou Elizondo said, man, you know, it's a, publication we look to for information and if that's being manipulated in a way to force us to believe a certain way again anyway I don't want you to force me to be skeptical and I don't want you to force me to be a believer just put the data and the info there and I'll decide for myself I hope I'm not deciding for any of you make your own decision that's why I put links in every video I do so you can go on your own and make your own decision you don't have to, you know, this is just my commentary, my opinion. So anyway, yeah, um, I am disappointed um, uh, with that. Oh, real quick here, let me just show this. So this is Rob Hetherly's uh, YouTube page or Twitter. Again, I'm going to put a link to it. Again, look, even from November, he's tweeting about this um, with Wikipedia and all that. So go through his Twitter. You can see a lot of stuff in there or watch that good trouble show, but let's give some love to Rob Hetherly for doing that work again. And I don't always agree with what this guy says, but again, I respect the work he's putting in for this, right? He believes something. So he does a bunch of digging and puts together an investigation. I mean, I don't know what more you want from somebody, right? He's not just like, Hey man, they're doing this on Wikipedia. And then he just doesn't right? He brings receipts. He's got stuff. Again, you can agree or disagree or, or even, um, you know, push back on some, what you think is evidence is this, that, or the other, but he's bringing something to the table. 
So much respect uh, for that. So again, I don't know what y'all think about this. It's kind of crazy. Um, yeah. So Wikipedia, y'all. Wiki leaky. All right, y'all. Hope you enjoyed uh, the episode today, y'all. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow in another episode, 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. Don't forget, if you watch this long and you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? And, of course, if you forgot, hit that like button on your way out. And, I, yeah, I cannot wait to read the comments on this one, y'all. So, remember, every day's a gift, vetters. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace.